Hello everybody, this is Lou with Bergen Pickers and today I'd like to share with you um, some early Gene Autry um, cast iron cab pistols or cap guns. Um, but before I do that, let me just tell you a little bit about the company who made them. Uh, so these were manufactured by the Kenton Lock Manufacturing Company which was organized back in 1890 and later became the Kenton Hardware Company. So in 1904 uh, they had a new manager, uh, they were on a new management by Mr. Bixler um, from 1864 to 1951. So the company was reorganized in 1912 and Bixler was elected as president. Um, the Kenton Hardware Company became one of the world's largest maker of cast iron toys, including toy stoves, banks, fire company outfits, horse drum vehicles, and automobiles. Um, and uh, then obviously cap guns as well. So this right here um, is one of the earliest cap guns produced by the Kenton Company. As a matter of fact, this one is the first one produced by the Kenton Company. Um, and what happened was uh, in 1937, um, when they started working on them, the effects of the Great Depression was taking a toll on the uh, business, and the company decided to change on a Western cap gun idea featuring the new signing, you know, cowboy and movie star Gene Autry. Now, Gene Autry was uh, a TV star, a movie star, and radio star. Um, he was known as the singing cowboy and really stood for the all American, you know, brave, uh, you know, true hero um, of the West. So, this is really neat. So, this particular uh, cap gun is made out of cast iron, so it's really heavy. Um, and what we have here is uh, Gene Autry's uh, signature and also on the handle. Um, so this cap gun has never been fired. It is still nice and sparkly silver um, and it's just overall in just mint condition. So I'm going to open it up for you. There you have it. You can see this is where the uh, roll caps would go in. So it would be a roll. Um, you could you would slide the tip of the roll through here you would cock back the hammer and um, when you pull the trigger it would fire uh, a cap and uh, would create a noise like a bang and uh, you know some smoke would come out and the, the smell uh, everybody can relate to who used to play with these it was just uh, really neat it was part of the experience so um, there it is. And I'm just going to dry fire it a few times so you guys can see what it looks like. So as you pull the trigger, like on the real gun, it uh, moves the hammer. I'm going to show you the other side here too. Really neat. Um, so yeah, these are all original, mint condition. Um, if you look at the hammer, there you go. You can tell that it's never touched a cap. Um, so it's, it is in mint condition. What makes it really cool is uh, the original box that it came with. So these are not easy to find, um, especially with the original box. The, ori the owner, the previous owner, um, I assume had taped uh, the cardboard because after all, it is over 70 years old. Uh, the cardboard would not withstand storage and would just start, you know, kind of fall apart. But this one, even though it's been preserved um, and taped up, is actually in pretty good condition. Um, and it says right here, it's Gene Autry's repeating cap pistol. Really neat, uh, you know, because he was a movie star and a TV star, you see the camera crew or the cameraman over there with the old uh, film camera, you know, filming him. And there he is, Gene Autry himself, the singing cowboy. Um, and on the bottom here, it says, uh, patterned after the original six shooter of Public Cowboy Number no. One. So this is the very first. Uh, cast iron cap pistol that Kenton produced and it's uh, Gene Autry's. Okay, uh, let's move on to another one. Now very similar in design, um, it's the barrel is shorter, um, it also has Gene Autry's uh, signature there and as well on, on the handle on both sides. Okay, and again this one is in mint condition, never fired before, but the really interesting part about this is that it says the words or the word dummy across it. Now, uh, the information that I received from the previous owners um, uh, notes that he, he had w with this uh, toy 
was that this could potentially be a pro, uh, not a promotional, excuse me, a, a prototype of the cap gun. Now I don't know that for sure. Um, if anybody has any information on it that might know more about it than I do, please uh, leave comments below. Contact us. Go to our website bergenpickers.com and um, contact us and, and let us know. I, I would love to know. It, it's fantastic, and I can always update the info. But um, and I know some of the other guns don't don't have that. They don't have dummy. This is the first time I've ever seen it on on these cast iron guns. Again, cast iron, um, it, it fires just fine. Let me show you the other side. It says Kenton Toys, made in the USA. Um, so any of these cap guns are really popular because, especially in mint condition, um, you know they're very difficult to find. So collectors are always looking for really mint condition cap guns because they're not super rare I mean they're harder to find but usually you'll find them in, in worse conditions you know with a lot of rust um, you know the, the the iron has become really dark um, which by the way is why I'm handling them with gloves I, I don't want to get my finger oils or any dirt on it um, you know to have it deteriorate so to make sure you get in really great condition uh, we do have these for sale um, it's not the reason I'm really making these videos. I'm really doing you know, for uh, information purposes. Hopefully I can help people out um, and give you a little history on them. So these were produced in, in the 1930s, uh, 1938 to be exact, and they're really old um, and very well preserved. And as with the uh, first cap gun, we also have the original box for the junior model. Um, now... This one has no tape on it whatsoever, so it's in, in um, original condition completely. Uh, and as you can see, the flap came off, and again, that's common. Um, so if you do happen to find one, try not to alter it, don't tape anything shut. It, it might look in really bad condition, but it's always important to a collector that you keep it as original as possible. Um, we never try cleaning any of our uh, toys and collectibles and antiques. Um, unless it needs it. Um, in this case it doesn't, so we, we try not to, besides maybe some light dusting or light brushing of areas, we, we do not alter anything. Uh, we want to preserve it as is. So these two guns are probably what I would consider museum quality, so if there's a toy museum out there, this is the kind of um, quality that you would see there, and that's really special. And uh, I hope that the next owner will appreciate it and preserve it uh, like we have. Uh, next I'm going to show you um, also a set of uh, Gene Autry guns, uh, pistols. And these right here, as you can see, have been used, they have been played with, they have been loved, as they should have. Um, and one of them works perfectly fine, the other one has got... Um, I think the, the trigger sticks a little bit, and I'm going to show you that right now. This one's got a hairline uh, fracture right there, so there's some damage to it. Um, it's got the Gene Autry signature. As you can see, the cast iron is darker. It was used. It was loved. It was fired many times. Uh, the handle here, let me see, this one seems to be okay. That's the other one, okay. Um, let's, let's fire it to see which one this is. Okay, so this one fires just fine. I'm going to open it up for you. There it is. And as you can see, it's got a little more dirt in there. Right? Uh, from the residue of the, the caps, the roll caps that were used. The hammer is a little dirtier, so what we'll do with this, and, and you can tell some, some rusting. So what we'll do is we... I, I wouldn't recommend dipping this in any... You know, there's plenty of videos out there. You know, on how to remove rust, etc. But if you don't know what you're doing, please don't do it. Um, chances are you're just going to ruin the value of the gun, unless you want to keep it for yourself and just, you know, for display purposes and you want it as shiny as possible. It completely destroys the resale value of, uh, of a gun like this. So try not to clean it, especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing. We don't claim that we do know exactly what we're doing, but, um, you know, which is one of the reasons we, we try not to clean anything, unless it's some light brushing. So we might get in here with maybe like a toothbrush, just very lightly uh, clean it off. Um, and then that's usually how we'll sell it. So I'm going to turn that around for you. There you go, and it says Kenton Toy, um, made in USA with Gene Autry's signature right there again. 
and you can see the, these are plastic handles. Uh, they're made to resemble Mother of Pearl handles on the original weapons. I'm going to snap that shut, and there you go. Really neat. Um, let me quickly show you the other one. So this one uh, sticks a little bit when you pull the trigger, and I'm going to show you that right now. Yep, it's stuck right there. So it fired once on the second one, it's stuck, and what you do is you just pull back the hammer, and it's back to normal. But because it was used so much, I just pulled it twice. Um, because it was played with so much that you know it eventually just stuck. So uh, as you can see, the the plastic handle here uh, pivots. It's not supposed to pivot. Um, so what you got to do is, and we'll probably do this right before we sell it. We will tighten the screw just so it doesn't move. Okay. And I'm going to open it up, and there's a little surprise in there. Yeah, there it is. It's the original uh, roll cap film. And there it is. A little different from, I mean, I grew up in the 80s, so I'm used to seeing the red, you know, the dark red film with the little caps. This one is lighter in color, probably due to aging. And the caps are slightly larger, too. Um... There you go. And you can even see when I pull back the hammer, there's obviously it's been used. You know, there's still some of that film from here after it was fired on there and also on this side. We're going to keep it that way just to keep it as is. Um, you know, we're not going to clean this up too much. We'll allow the next owner to do that um, at their convenience. Close that, turn it around. And there you have it. Really neat. So, um, we love providing these videos for you, again, for informational purposes. But if you have any comments, questions, or any additional information, we always like your input. You know, please leave comments below. And uh, contact us if you're interested in them. Also, like our videos. We provide as many as we can on all kinds of different toys and antiques and all different kinds of collectibles. Um, so yeah, that would really show your support, and, and it, it is much appreciated. So uh, this is Lou with Bergen Pickers, and I uh, hope you really enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon.